Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back, girlfriends. We are going to do this fun look today. I'm gonna. To it's all about the foundation. It's not about the eyes or anything else. We're strictly doing this foundation technique, which I think you will love. If you're very dry skin, you're definitely going to love this. It is something that um, I have enjoyed putting together, and it actually works. It does work. I've tried to trude here in the state of Alabama where it's hot and humid and the makeup just lasts all day. It's incredible. So if you want to know how to get it, just keep watching. Okay, so here's my skin. It's actually looking a little bit better. I um, have been using uh, some new skincare products and I really like them. And you see that brown spot there? That is getting a lot lighter. Hopefully that won't be going away soon. A lot of this, I can see a lot of this discoloration is breaking up. You can see the spaces of it. Look at that. Oh, girl. And I, I'm thinking I might do that next week. Show you all my skincare and what I'm doing. So my skin looks so much better. And I'm going to get my nails done today. They look yucky. <laughs> but the first thing that we're going to do, the first thing that I always do is put on my skincare. And then I like to come and use this beauty oil. It is Unique's beauty oil. I love it. And I like to put it just a little bit on my finger, have a little dropper, and I like to put it here, right underneath my eyes, and I push it all the way out to where my little crow's feet are. And I've already done my eyeshadow and that kind of thing. I just very, very quickly did that. Nothing complicated today about my eye look at all. Liquid eyeshadow is the best thing ever. Now take a little more, and I always put it around my mouth. All these little fine lines that we have, it softens them, and I mean, it really makes them nice. Now, I do let this sit um, for about five minutes, and then I will come back and I'll start doing all the things to my face, getting ready, prep it, and we're just going to kind of walk through how I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk you through it. If you have really dry skin, you're going to love this. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is use a primer. I always use a primer. I don't care if I'm using BB cream. I'm still going to use a primer underneath it. Alabama is just too darn hot not to have a primer, okay? I need something between my makeup and my skin. And so, I'm going to use this mattifying primer. Um, if you have dry skin, you could definitely use a hydrating primer. We have a hydrating primer, but I don't use it that much because my skin is not dry, but I do have it because I do like to show it to people and let them try it. Um, but this one is definitely perfect for me. I don't use it very much. Put it between your fingers, warm it up, and then I just basically run it through the center of my face and then outward like that. And it really does help help your makeup stay. Now, look, I don't put it under my under eyes. We do something totally different for that. My under eyes are off limits <laughs> for this primer. It's a little bit too thick, and I have to have something that's more simplistic that actually works. And I don't like to layer too much underneath my eyes anyway, just because there are a lot of fine lines and wrinkles there. So there's that. We have done that now. So my next step is sometimes I have like bigger pores here, but what we're doing today is just going to kind of minimize everything at the end. You're going to be shocked <laughs> at how well this kind of plays out and how not mattified, but just it has just a, such a soft look at the end, and that's what I love about this. So if you're a summer girl, this is for you. Now, I'm going to use the color Bisque because this is Bisque. So this is a great color. Now, I have, there's like five or six different colors of the BB cream, and they're basically just a tinted moisturizer. See, see these are some of the colors. So I would actually have done these with like a, a contour kind of thing. Um... I haven't done that in a while, but this is the one that's closest to my skin tone, and I do need to pull my hair back really quickly. I don't know where my little thing is. Let's get one of these. Oh, here, here it is. Here it is. I found it. There's my good old scar. <laughs> this is um, still kicking my butt a little bit. It's uh, me and this pacemaker just don't get along sometimes. I still haven't named it. I was going to name it, but I haven't named it yet. So, I'm going to just take a little bit of this. I don't know what to name it. <laughs> Pain in the butt. <laughs> That's what I should name it. I know it's keeping me going, y'all. I know it is. But there are times when I just feel so darn tired and I don't like it. I just, I want to feel like me again. 
And maybe as time goes on, it'll get better. So, but you see, I'm just kind of dotting this around. And we're going to use a beauty blender, my original beauty blender, which I love, totally love. Now, see, I didn't put a whole lot, but this will help if you have really dry skin. Um, it is tinted, so I love these. In the summertime, this is my to-go to sometimes just on a Saturday. If I just want to have my skin look a little better than, you know, normal, see how it gives a soft little glow. And that's what this whole thing is about. It's going to give you a soft glow without being too glowy. And so that it just it's a healthy look is what I what I was telling to the, the girls the other day. I was like, you know, it's, it makes your skin look really healthy. And if you like a matte, you know, foundation, then this is perfect for you. For those of you who have oily skin, you're going, I can't do matte foundation. But if you put this down first, you will be able to do it, okay? You're, going, you're putting all that moisture, do all your skincare, and then you're going to come in and put this tinted moisturizer, and you're going to blend it all in. Now, notice I didn't put it underneath my eyes. I don't do it there. We will do something totally different for that. You know I love Kosas Concealer, so that's what we'll be using. See that, how pretty that is? It is just a dewy kind of finish. Now, if I want to add a little bit more, I can, but that's basically all I use. Just a little bit, dab it around, and then blend it in. And then we are going to use two different foundations because I'm in that weird zone of I'm not quite one color or the other, so I mix two colors. So that is acceptable to you. You can do that. So let me grab my stuff. And I'm going to let this set just for a minute before I just start layering everything on top of it. Okay, right before I'm going to do my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and put this Prime and Set Mist on. It's like a setting spray, but it's a mist, and it is by Unique, and I love this stuff. I usually finish off my face with this, too, but I spray a little bit in my hand. You can see that it's wet, and I will take this and just dab it right underneath my eyes right here. Because this is, instead of putting uh, the primer there, I prefer to use this. And I will push it right on up into my crow's feet. <laughs> Fine lines. And so, now we can move on with the foundation. And this will be setting, okay? Because it does need to set for a little bit and kind of dry. And then you'll be able to put your concealer right over it. Now, I do have two colors. You do have to shake these up. They sound like spray cans, which they are, really. And one is eyelet. So, this one, this one is eyelet, and then this one is velour. So, eyelet will be my darker color, and I usually just do one spray of that on my kabuki brush. That's what I'm going to use, kabuki brush. I'm going to spray it like that. That stuff is cool, ain't it? <laughs> it is. And then this is velour, and I do two of velour. And then I will start just dabbing it on. And then I go to blending it in. I dab and blend. And you can see, you're going to have a little bit of that glow, even though this is matte, coming through. Do you see it? This is why I love this technique, okay? It gives you a little bit of dewy glow without having too much. Look at that. And that, see that little glow going through there? This is such a cool technique. I did this for the ladies uh, on my Facebook page, and they loved it. And because a lot of them were wanting to wear the matte spray foundation because it is a full coverage foundation, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. It looks like my skin, but better. Now, I do bring it down my neck a little bit, you know, to be cohesive. You need to do that. And then just blend. Blend, and then you can buff it in if you want to. I like to stipple it. I like to push it into my skin. It comes one with my skin. My pores don't stick out as bad when I do that. But how simple is this? Now, I'm almost done with this. I've still got to do my forehead. And come around. I have, I'm have. i going to add just one more shot of these. Shot. <laughs> a shot of eyelet. And then two shots of lure. Sounds like I'm making a drink. <laughs> I haven't had any alcohol, y'all. I have my coffee, but it's decaf. I don't even know why I drink it, but I, I feel like I'm drinking coffee. You, you know, it's just, and I use the hazelnut brand. I mean, the hazelnut, Green Mountain hazelnut. It just makes me feel like I'm drinking real coffee when I'm not. I get so bummed out. Um, in the middle of the day at work, I just get tired. And 
I'm used to my caffeine kick. I really am. I miss it. I miss it terribly. All right, so I will do my concealer off camera because you've seen that a gazillion times unless you just really want to see it. I guess I could do one eye for you. I'll go ahead and just grab it. Now I have two different colors now. I bought a lighter color in Kosas. And so you put these two together and you can see that this one is a little, let's see which one is darker. Uh, this one is a little darker. This one is um, 0.05, and this is this one is a 0.01. So this one is a little bit darker than this one. So I thought I'm gonna try the lighter one. Guess what? I do like it. I do like it. It's it's a little brighter. Um, I like the way it finished out. You see, it's just a little bit lighter than the other one. Now blend it with your finger, because that you know we put the setting mist there, prime and set. And we're just going to blend this in and over and up right through here. I like to bring it up into my temple, you know. And you see, I didn't use very much. I don't use very much of this at all. And it's not intending to be like covering up everything. Now, it will cover up your darkness. Um, but I do like to look in my magnifying mirror. I take it, kind of pull it out just to see if there's anything sitting there. And if I feel like I need just a tad more, I can add a little tad more because I really didn't put a whole lot here. Let's do this because I do like to bring it down my face just a little and then over. Kind of brightens up the center of your face by doing that right there. So make sure you use your finger. You could use a brush if you want to. If you don't like, you know, some people don't like makeup on their fingers. <laughs> I have a lot of people who, who say that. Can I use a brush? I don't like it on my fingers. Yeah, you can. You can definitely do that. Now, let me get my mirror again. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. That is perfect. Lord and mercy. That's perfect. Now, we're going to get this little brush here. I've been using this one because it's a little smaller than the other ones. This is BK Beauty's brush 108. I like it. And we're going to grab a little bit of what's left in here. This is It's by My Pores. I like to use this because it's so darn light. And you just push it in. You do not swipe it on. You just push it into your skin. And then you go ahead and set this. Before before you do the other side, go ahead and do one side and set it, okay? And push it all the way up where you took that color. Look at that. Perfect. Now I'm going to do the other one off camera. Okay, so there. Here is my finished look. Now I have no blush on or anything like that yet. So we're going to add all of that. But I had gone ahead and kind of fixed my brows a little bit. This is a new thing for me. I bought Too Faced, and this is their, let me see, fine, a super fine brow detailer. Now, I like this, and I got this in the color brunette, I believe, and it does have a spoolie on the end, and it is retractable, and it's one of those tiny ones like I like. So, we're going to touch this up just a tad since we went ahead and did our foundation, and I will finish these out. And yes, I already put my um, NYX brow glue on here. But I like this pencil. I do. It's so easy to use. Look at that. I mean, it's such a great color. It stays on wonderful. It works well with the, the brow glue, the NYX brow glue. See how tiny it is? It's so darn tiny. And so all I need to do is just kind of touch it up just a tad. I love doing my brows. Brows really frame your face. So if you are not doing your brows, um, you need to find something that you love. I love this one. I like Anastasia. I like the ColourPop one. Um, and there's a Revlon one I've got, and I haven't tried it yet. So I can't say whether I like it or not. It's got a different type of end. It's not quite like this one, but it's more like a comb or something. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but you know me. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it no matter what. Okay. So there we go. Now we got our brows on. Now we're going to do a little bit of blush. And I recommend that you do a cream blush. If you're older, unless you just love a powder, get a cream. I've got, uh, I have bought a few here lately that I really like. Now this one's Anastasia. This one's ColourPop. And then this one is NYX. Now NYX is dual ended. It has two colors, okay? Two different colors. But I'm going to use one of these. Uh, this one's going to be more peach, and this one's going to be a little more mauve -y, okay? So I kind of got mauve on or peach on, but I love, love, love both of these. And I'm going to use Anastasia today. I think I used this last week, did I not? 
Let's pull up these colors and just see. This one's really pretty. I love this color. And then this one is maybe just a shade. I don't know. It's a little bit different shade. You see? Oh, that one is pretty. I think I'll do this one. I kind of like the peachy with the eye look there. Yeah, look at that. This one actually looks better. So, bye, Anastasia. We're going to put you back in here. And we're not going to use you, okay? We'll use you next time. This one is ColourPop. And I don't know the color of it. Um, I'll list everything in the description box anyway. But we're going to add just a little bit of this right here. Not much. You don't want much. Just enough to kind of give you that nice little soft glow. And then I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. We're going to add some bronzer. Let's add, um, I'm going to use this too. This is a brand new deal. I'm going to use the medium bronzer. I'm going to use Unique's medium bronzer. It's because I like it. I do. I love it. And I need this brush here. Unique's brush. This is a little contour brush. You're going to grab this and you're just going to go right through here. Work on that turkey neck. Yeah, we all get that turkey neck, don't we? <laughs> we do. See how I'm, I'm just going to let that set for a minute. And I'm going to add this right underneath it. Ta-da! And then we're going to blend it kind of into that bronzer. Oh, that's what I've been doing. And it looked really, really, really pretty. And that's why I like the cream because it blends really well. I didn't think it would, but it does. It blends really well with the um, with that contour right in there. It's, it's, it just does. I don't know why it does. But I want to use, let's see, let me find another little brush. Let's use, um, let's use this one. This is a tiny little end. This is Unique's, like, dual-ended brush. And I'm going to come down my nose a little bit with this. And kind of blend it right up into that brow. See how that gives that nice little shadow? Oh, yes. And then once we finish all of this, you're going to go, wow. Girl, it's going to stay all day. It is. It's going to stay all day with this set and prime. That I'm going to use. I'm going to show you. Oh, it is a great, great, and it is a powder, so don't freak out over that. But it works so good. It does. It works so good. So let's put that down. And there we go. Now we're going to blend it out. Let's blend it. And you know, some people are doing something called draping, which if you like that, you can do that. It means you bring it over your nose a little bit um, with your blush. Mm, I'm not really into that yet. <laughs> I just kind of like it out here where it's supposed to be. Um, but I do love this color. And I do bring it just slightly on my cheeks. Just a tad. Just to give you that little useful glow. Yes. Oh, gosh. That's pretty. That is really pretty. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So, let me grab some lips. And <laughs> I'll be right back. Y'all, I just love this look. I just, it looks so youthful. I just love it. I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzer and just put it right up here. Just for some warmth. I know my hair covers it up, you know, but it won't cover it up on this side. You'll be able to see it. And you can just kind of dab it on or go back and forth. That's just up to you. I just think it looks pretty a little bit. So I'm going to kind of take my hair down now and let that be. And I'm going to put this over here. I knocked everything off a minute ago. I just, I'm so haphazard. That's just me, though. That's the way it rock and rolls around here. Now, I, this is a new color called Brazen. And right now, we have it um, on special. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. And what I'm going to do is grab a little brush here. And we're going to take some of this. And we're going to highlight right up through here with it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And I did put on my lips. I just put on some NYX. Um, need me, you know, I love need me and it is just so pretty on your lips and it stays all day. Pretty much. It stains your lips and it stays. Now I do have to reapply it if I'm putting, um, maybe a lipstick or something over it to brighten it up. Like if I put uh, a little bit of lip butter over it, you know, you would want to do that. But right now, I'm just going to leave it like it is because <laughs> I just kind of like it. I just lined it and filled it in. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's this little one right here. This is it. You can get this at Walmart. You can get it at um, Ulta has it. It's called Need Me, and it's by NYX, okay? Perfect, perfect color. It's one of those universal kind of colors that goes with everything, and that's why I like it. And see, it doesn't come off. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't come off. It stays. Now, the finishing touch of this is our prime and set. 
So this right here, or set and prime, I know it's prime and set, this stuff is magic, okay? It is, it's magic, and it's weird how it goes on, but it will set your foundation all day. All day, no kidding. Now, how to activate this is you have to shake it up like this, and then what, you open it up, and you see all that kind of misty in there? Woo, let's mix it up good. See all this in the top. And then you're gonna take a brush. I'm just gonna take this little brush here. This is a BK Beauty 106. And we're gonna take it. And you don't wanna get a whole lot of this. Get it all even. And then just kind of dip it down into it. Get some. I always tap it off on my hand. And then you're just gonna start dabbing it onto your face. Now, when it touches your face, it's gonna feel wet. But it's amazing. It will dry and you'll be able to touch it. And it's amazing. I don't know how this technology works, but it's amazing. It really is. I dab it in. I go around my nose. I do my T-zone pretty much with it. And then whatever's left on my brush, then I go and I just push it out over all the other makeup. But I do my T-zone first because that's where I get oily and you probably do too. And then I just kind of, whatever's left here, I'll just kind of lightly go over all the other. Because I don't want to take away the color. And this, if you, like if you put on a, a foundation that's a little too dark or something, you could put this over it. And it just, it blurs all the imperfections. And it just makes your skin look beautiful. And it's touchable. It's not sticky or tacky at all. And we have on BB cream. And we have on spray foundation. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that pretty? I just absolutely love it. Love this product. It is a unique product, and I swear by it. And then the very last thing that I will do is take my prime and set, which is this right here, the one we use for our under eyes, and we shake it up. And I just do one final little woo like that, right through the center, not a whole lot. And then my favorite thing to end with, you know what it is. What is it? You know what it is. It's called Madison Beer. And I love it. And I'm almost, I've got to open up my other one. I've almost used all of this. See all that in the bottom there? It's kind of golden looking. Um, that is shiny stuff. And it, I don't know what it is, but you shake this up or swirl it around, whatever you want to do. And you can see how beautiful that is in there. Well, that goes on my beauty blender. And yes, we spray it like that. And then we set this right here where we put all that luscious shine and do. Look at that. My dog is making noise. I'm so sorry. So let me grab something I'm going to finish up my lips with and we'll be done, girlfriend. Okay, just finish out my lips. I decided I was trying to look between these lip butters. I do love lip butters in the summer. They are wonderful uh, for your lips. They've moistened them. And this is so pretty over it. Now, this color is called Quick Getaway. And you can see it's one that I use a lot because it's already slanted <laughs> like my lips. And just put it right over the top, just like this. And then you can touch it up. Isn't that beautiful? It is so darn pretty. My dog is just going crazy. She wants to go outside. I think she saw a squirrel or something. Out there. <laughs> Knowing her, she sees everything. All right, so what do you think? What do you think of this look? I absolutely love it. It has been my to-go-to here for the last, I don't know, a month at least. I've been doing this technique, and I really, really do like it. Now, you can use liquid foundation with it as well. Um, do the same steps, it's just a different, you know, foundation. But I do love the spray foundation. I love the coverage it gives. It looks natural and it's just beautiful on the skin to me. It just is. It's my favorite. It is my favorite. Hands down, my favorite foundation. So, please like and share and click that notification bell. I am here on Sundays only. Pretty soon, cross your fingers. Uh, I've got some things in the works that I'm maybe changing up my life just a little bit more. Uh, this pacemaker thing has really uh, made me stop and think about what I'm doing with my life and what I want to do with my life because I will be 60 in September. And what little time I have left on this earth, I just want to do some good things. Good things. I want to do some things that I feel are important to me. Um, this is important to me. I love being on here and talking with you and seeing you every Sunday and you seeing me every Sunday. It's like we get to know each other. I love this look, y'all. <laughs> I just do. I keep looking at it going, I created it. Sometimes I'll sit and I'll just like, wow, makeup is, is incredible. And if it gives you 
a sense of, you know, feeling great about yourself, then do it. Don't worry about what anybody else says. I never worry about what anybody else says. It's what I like, you know. And Marky does pick at me sometimes, you know, about it. But I will go out of the house with just some um, BB cream and a little bit of maybe eyeshadow blush and done. I'm gone out the door. It just depends on <laughs> where I need to be quickly. But... Please, please, please come back and see me again on Sunday. I appreciate it so much. Y'all just don't know. And y'all have a great and wonderful week. See you later.